Bam Bams. This is MDG TV, and it's like 8.34 in the fucking morning. I should not be awake right now, but I am. But anyway, guys, so today I'm going to talk. I've been trying to do a video like this, but now I'm just going to do it, all right? So XXXTentacion's new, well, I don't know if it's, it's not his. It Basically, he took it over, but the double XL freestyle, not freestyle, but Cypher, with him and ugly god and two other people that i've never actually heard before um i'm not into new school rap so you're gonna hear a lot of things that'll come from somebody who's not into new school rap but like i don't know i at first i kind of didn't like x but that's because i never heard his music before and the only thing i knew about him was that other people who were like i said into new school rap i'm not so hearing the name a lot i'm like okay that's probably not gonna be somebody i'd like and then I think I heard somebody else talking about him, and they were playing music of his, and I was like, oh shit, that's kind of awesome. And then I, I became a fan of him as well. But I want to talk about the parallels between, like, X and older, I, yeah, I guess you could say older at this point, people from different genres that are that basically did the same thing, and how cool it is to see one of my generation. Because, I mean, X is... I think he's he's either 17 or 19, but either way, that's one or two years older than, I mean, one or three years older than me. Wait, yeah, I'm 16, so that's one or three years older than me. But yeah, so to me, that's really cool. You know, because it's like someone, of not one, it's someone of my generation, two, it's someone that's like not even that much older than me. <laughs> so I just think that's kind of awesome. But um, anyway, so like, X in the cipher, right? Everybody else is saying the same shit, right? I'm fucking your bitch, diamonds on my dick, that kind of bullshit, right? Then X comes on, they turn the fucking beat off, which I thought was awesome. And then he just, like, gets on one knee. And from that first line, I was like, yes, more of this, please. It's like, if there was an apocalypse, I kill all of you fucking, like, yeah, basically. But when, one thing that I kind of noticed about X, and this is where I'm going to get into the parallels, is like, all in the comments, people were just, like, calling him, like, a devil worshiper, saying that he was, like, summoning Satan in a freestyle. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? But here's the fun thing about this, right? When you listen for the words instead of listening for the personality or for the, the regular bullshit of New School Rap, the reason I don't listen to it, it's awesome. Because there's one line in it that no one seemed to have caught. I mean, maybe I just haven't watched enough reactions or anything, but no one seemed to have caught the line where he was like, if you need saving, listen to this. Like, that, that was clearly one of the things. And then he went on to talk about how to get away with a murder. So it's, it's, it's not like, you know, he was giving this grand message about how to get past your problems, but <laughs> I don't know. It's like nobody seemed to have acknowledged that. And what it reminds me of a lot, well, the, I'll get to the two parts. First thing it reminds me of is like Marilyn Manson back in the back in the back in the day, when people was talking shit on him, about ba basically they're really really. I mean he sampled like an interview of Marilyn Manson in Another Rack I believe, but they're really similar in the fact that people just love talking shit about him at the same time. There's that core that just can't get enough of it, and both of them had this really dark image around them. But if you actually listen to the shit they're saying, it's well. X actually just says a lot of really dark shit, but Manson actually had a lot of real shit to say. It's just his image was dark, so people just thought of him that way. And then another parallel that I've seen is, like, the different types of people that listen to him versus, like, not even versus, but, like, the parallel between them and him and 21 Pilots. How uh, There's, like, the pop fans and the alt fan, well, alternative fans, and then there's the fucking rap fans and the alternative fans of X. I obviously am in the alternative camp so to me it's like the pop fans of Twin Pilots and the rap fans of X don't really listen for the words they listen for like the the music and you know the overall flow because it sounds nice and then you've got um X I mean you, then you got the alternative fans who need something a little bit more in their music because that that's a lot of times what you know gets us through things in life is fucking music I mean, I've said before that music is, like, the best antidepressant you could ever have. Um, I don't know how I feel about that now, but, um, <laughs> you know, it, I, I know, I know, I still hold by that. But the thing is, right, 
I guess because I'm one of those people who looks for deeper meanings or just something else. E even just like a, the feeling that music could could produce. That's probably why I'm even like making this video. In the first. I, I think I just went off on a tangent and forgot what I was going to say. So I'm like trying to say something new. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's just like, I didn't know what I was going to say about X. So I ended up saying something. But no, about that, about the cipher itself, those other three guys just, uh, they're all carbon copies to me. I mean, the first one said different things than the rest of them, but the things he said were along the same vein. And I'm just saying, like, word for word, he didn't say the same things. <laughs> but the other two kind of just, like, said the same things, like, pretty much lines. And, like, it was all bullshit anyway, and... No. And then X comes on and, like, he's the only one who's not talking about, you know, money he doesn't have or women he doesn't have. You know, it's, it's, I don't get this whole facade about, like, we clearly know you're, e either you're lying or you're just saying it because it's cool to say and either way, it's, you don't do that. <sighs> Which, I mean, we could bring up a lot of emo bands who say a lot of things because it's cool to say, but I don't listen to them, so, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, that, that, that's, that's pretty much it. There's no reason to drag this on, so, see yous.